Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Beyond Authentic Health and Beauty, where we are documenting our Slimming World journey and beyond. and beyond. Today, it's a cancer update. So then, after the first surgery, as you all know, um, they suspected that it was into the bladder lining, lining of the bladder. Um, so they took me back in and did another go over to basically effectively to re-scrape where they'd already taken yeah. it out just to make sure of sort of like the depth really that's the only way to really describe it isn't it um and so there was the main bit and then there were a couple of other bits of small growth so they, they got rid of all of that on the first surgery uh, and the second surgery was just as i say to go in and just scrape and just make sure that it hadn't gone into the lining and then after that we waited was it about seven weeks seven yeah, weeks was wasn't it eight weeks yeah yeah to get the results of that um and it ends up that they downgraded it to a superficial t1 i think or mm. yeah so superficial t1 so basically it was good news they got it all it hadn't grown into the lining um and they're just going to monitor the bladder see how we go and take it do they say all oh, your bladder looks very clear when they went in the second yeah time. it all looked good everything looked like it was healing yeah. well um i've still got some bladder issues since the two lots of surgery so a little bit of you know insistence mm. so sometimes if you need a wee i really need a wee and then i start weeing without any real control over especially that especially why you shouldn't go and run the tap in the kitchen or, or yeah in, things anywhere. like that and like and at night i'll wake up three yeah. or four times at night for a wee sometimes yeah. um still which got, was fun at camp you still got but, to drink plenty and carry yeah. on just so then where we are today is we are back at living care um for another cystoscopy now i was due sorry i keep doing this with my hair because my hair is is looking a bit weird at the moment but anyway um it needs to cut that's what it is um but i i was due a cystoscopy in about a month's time towards the end of august yeah. And then I got a phone call that brought it forward, um, which was a little bit worrying. But luckily, the phone call only came in yesterday. So there wasn't really much time for me to panic. So we just came here today and I'm going to insert a little bit of footage in here now of what just happened. So I am now in my gorgeous new fashion item. Oh, yeah. Um, it's paper. So it is, you know, it's not disposable fashion. It is... Well, it's literally disposable fashion, isn't it? I was going to say. It um, is. And then, make sure I'm not exposing anything. I've got these rather sexy shorts on. Yeah. Look how sexy they are, with a yeah. massive opening which goes from here all the way, all the way down. Uh, down there. So, yeah. yes, so there we go. We've been in. Um, the nurse has been in and done um, the sort of pre assessment check things, and now we're going to go in for this cystoscopy very shortly. So, I guess I'll see you when we're in there and you can see what's in me <laughs> but i did get a little bit pissed off didn't i you did yeah. a, a bit pissed off i mean you know gobby cow but um a i wanted to take a picture of what my bladder was looking like from the screen and they wouldn't let me um and and also like they barely let rufus in and i was panicking as soon as i got in there and got got dressed yeah my heart rate was going and i don't know whether you could hear my breathing but my breathing was starting to get really shallow and i was heading towards a panic attack mm -hmm. um and luckily they let, they let you stay in the room didn't they um but they did the check and you were like oh because you could see on the telly couldn't mm. you you could see on the screen yeah. so from your perspective um was that the first time you you like looked inside a, a, a bladder like that or yeah. looked inside so when they sort of they, they went with the camera they went they through go, oh we're going through your prost right bypassing the prostate and going through and you know like, trans and it's like looking at you think i've i've seen like some doctors or things on the tv and we've watched, of things happen uh, but we've watched quite a few videos but not this, oh we? you know this is lisa's bladder and this is bizarre isn't yeah it? and then they showed they they kind of went to where all the scarring was from the two surgeries um and it was quite a big area wasn't it mm. i was really surprised mm. there was quite a big area yeah. of scarring um but, that was but, noticeable. But the first time where you didn't have that irrigation for that long, the water flushed oh, through all the bladder, infections and everything. And yeah. all of that that happened. And if it was such a big area, obviously that's why you bled so much afterwards. Yeah, it will and be. And that's why. But the second time when I went in, because they was only took in a tiny little bit. Just on that, that big one. Your, you know, 
within a day or something, you're you know you were running clear. Yeah. So yeah, it was a, a so much easier recovering from the second one because obviously yeah. they didn't they didn't take a huge lump of skin out. So they were happy with the scarring and how that's all healed, but there is a but. Um, they found an area five millimeters, he mm. said, um, which could be an inflammation. But also looks like it could be, um, what was it he called it a TCC? Mm. So a, a tumor. Uh, oh God, there's, there's. It means basically it could be a cancer. Could be like um, a tiny baby growth, possibly. Yeah, tiny, it could be the tiny... start of another bout of growth. Um, but because I only had surgery, mm. what uh, two? Not even two mm. months ago, was it? But not said, even two months. So it's not had time said, to grow, but. Did you look, I said, I'm sure it was it like two little red bits or something on mm. it in a t little tiny area. Yeah. So what's making me a little bit concerned is that it's less than two months ago that they were in the bladder and they didn't pick up any of Anything that. Anything at all. So no, whatever this is has appeared in the last two months. Um, now, obviously, they're going to get me back in um, in three months time. They're going to monitor it again. Yeah. But this could be what it looks like when it starts when a new growth starts yeah. so it's not in the same place it's not where the scarring was it's kind of next to it and i'm sure and what... they said before about that obviously they you know to be able to grow they still have to have a blood supply so obviously that could be like why the little sort of red, red dots are little red dots that you get in it as well yeah it could possibly. be um and so it's just going to be something that we need to monitor so it's not the all clear that i was hoping for it's yeah. not the you know there's no sign of anything um when he said it could be a tcc it's like yeah it it, it could be which is the start of mm. a, a new cancer growth start you can't really tell like i say that all they can do is monitor and then yeah, it's if, too soon if, to if tell. there's growth you know and if it's um got bigger in the next two to three months when you go back in and have another camera then they'll, they'll start looking yeah, at then they'll... options again yeah but for now it's a case of right yeah. something is going on that isn't kind of completely normal so we're just going to have to monitor it yeah. so we're back into that sort of yeah you know not knowing phase which i really mm. don't like It is what it is. Um, it could be worse. It could be a hell of a lot better, but it could be worse. But it's, um, obviously, it still is very slow growing because, mm -hmm. like I said even before, they said when you came in the first time and they did cameras and found obviously what they found. Even then, they said that you could have had it for months and months. It could have been like yeah. you could have had it for what six more than six months. It could be, but so, again, the, I keep coming back to this thought in my head that two months ago it was clear, mm -hmm. and now it isn't. And that was with the chemo fluid and everything they did. So that two two months ago, it was completely clear. Any any hint of a growth would have been got rid of. Yeah. Um, so to me, when you, when you see like no, say the not. discoloration, it, to me it looked like like someone having like a, a blackhead on their face or something like a little just slight discoloration. Burst capillary. Yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like. I've got that's, one here somewhere. Yeah, like a little burst like capillary. A little, little tiny little red yeah. mark in your on your skin. And like I say, to me, that's what it looked like. Just a. Yeah. Now yeah. he did say that with superficials they 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 do pop up but they do yeah. come back. Um it's quite well yeah. known. So it could well be that this is the start of something coming back. Um mm. it's not the same in the same place as I say. Yeah. It does look like it's a completely new development. Um yeah. But we're going to monitor it. We will monitor it. We will we will see how it goes and I will keep you all updated. Um I've been away this weekend, haven't I, having mm. lots of um yeah adventures around a fire although yeah. not actually getting any adventures drink around a fire unfortunately coffee. um i didn't even drink lots of coffee yeah. i what made lots say? of coffee i didn't drink lots and of coffee. as well they said to maybe just stick to mostly decaf obviously because it can irritate your it, bladder it it's can. not going to cause any more problems in caffeine, terms of cancer can. but it can irritate yeah. your bladder so i'm down so, to two coffees a day yeah. they recommended going to decaf so i will try and do more decaf but well, we have got so i said but, we've got ground decaf at home as well yeah a couple but of them so it's the unfortunately oh, yeah. with the fibro and the adhd it's the the caffeine that keeps me going it's mm, that that it is, yeah. ribs the engine and gets gets things happening it means i can actually stand up and do things so We'll have to see how that happens um, and what we do about that. Yeah. But anyway, that is your update for today. Um...
not the worst of news, not the best of news. We're kind of back in the, I feel like an aeroplane, you know, mm. when they're coming into land and there's not a space and they've got to, they've got to keep circling for a, a, a little while. I feel like we're back in the circling mode again. It's like, I'm not cancer free, but equally mm. currently, I don't have active cancer, mm. but there's something that could develop into cancer. Um, well, on the plus, we did go and get weighed tonight. Oh, so yeah, we did. Slimming World, so we've done that. So obviously, oh, we've, had to, we've had to come straight from, like say, Slimming, Slimming World, World to straight here. to here. So that's why we haven't been there. Uh... And mm. I, I was joint woman of the year at group he was? in our group which was fantastic and we both lost weight and next week we should be coming in and with what's more that, what's that you got the uh, a i got a sash or i don't know where it is it's all somewhere um because we had to come and deal with yeah. this but the other good news is that the consultant has given me something to give to my gp with a prescription which to is. try and help some of the bladder issues that i've been yeah. having post the two bouts of yeah. surgery so sort of fingers crossed Thing. Yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have a bit more bladder control after this. Yeah. But you don't need to know all that. But anyway, I told you now. That's it from us. There'll be a card coming up just between our heads, just here, with um, the cancer sort of story so far, really, I guess, the cancer playlist. Um, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button. That should be just there. But we'll be back very soon. And as we always say, stay you, stay safe, stay authentic. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.